Welcome back to the Handy Landlord. So here I am. I'm bending up some flashing with my um, metal brake. I already broke down my metal. It comes in 24 inches, 50 foot coils. I broke it down into six inch pieces. So they're all six inches and I'm getting ready to bend up all my um, bend up all my aluminum so I can get these flash the uh, fascia covered which is right there so right there so I can get uh, gutters on this place uh, we did reside the entire house and we installed um, new doors new windows um, I'll be showing that at a later date but I wanted to give you guys a few tips and things that I've learned about um, breaking metal so here is my sample piece so i bend up a sample piece and just go around and check to make sure it's going to fit everywhere this is four inches this piece to right here is an inch and a half and this is a half inch um double double lap so that it doesn't get wavy on the bottom of the soffit so right there it'll look just like that so next next what i do is i cut a piece and basically put my two marks on there for my bend spots and then I will I don't know if you guys can see that what I do is I put it and line it up with the bottom right here and then I mark mark my spots basically saves me a ton of time so I don't have to measure or measure every single piece I don't have to get my tape measure out and remember the measurements they're on here they're right and then well at least I hope they're right <laughs> And then I can line this up and mark each one of my pieces. I'm going to mark the other end and then show you guys how I bend it. All right, so here is my siding brake. Now you can rent these from Home Depot, but I actually own this one. Um, and this handle right here raises and lowers this portion right here, which is like the clamp. So it raises and lowers that. And then once you lock it down into place, this handle right, these handles right here down at the bottom um, bend up the metal. So it's pretty basic. So what I'm going to do is line up my joint or my mark. The first bend that I'm making is this outer bend right here. So this little bend right here is the first one I'm making, which is a half an inch from the end. You can see it didn't, so it didn't smash it all the way. It didn't smash it all the way down. The way to smash it all the way down is to put this down all the way. And then what you're going to do is lay the piece of metal right in this joint right here and then take the handle all the way up. Alright, so I went ahead and lined up my next joint, which is right here. So this is my 4 inch section, which is the front of the fascia. And now I'm going to bend that at a 90 degrees. A lot of times you got to go a little bit, just a little past 90 degrees to get an actual 90 degree bend. I 
All right, so I've been up a total of four pieces right here, and now I'm getting ready to install these. All the sections that I'm working on today are getting um, gutters on installed on them, so I didn't, you can pin nail underneath if you are having, um, or if you're not having gutters installed, or it's this is a uh, gable end or something like that, but I just face nail it, and then my gutter covers, my gutter covers all those nails. Down here, I did cut it flush and then um, just overhang it and then to fix that right there which you can kind of see that's hanging down I will just go ahead and trim that run your utility knife down along the side of it and it will flush it up Just face nailed all of them. Uh, there's definitely not. Uh, there's no nails underside on the underside, but uh, once the gutter's hung, then it should be all good. Thanks for watching. I just got done uh, cutting the yard here. This place is turned around in about uh, three three weekends, about uh, six total days. This is turned around from really crappy to look really good on the outside. I uh, got gutters coming Tuesday or Wednesday, I can't remember. have to look on my calendar, but uh, get those hung and yeah. Installed that door and all the siding around there yesterday. Wire was a little goofy, had a little bit too much, but yeah, overall the outside's looking good.